Hi guys, I would like to give you an update on my long narrow planted tank. So again, this the measurements of this tank is 94 inches long and 16 inches tall and then only 12 inches thick. So it is very thin. So by by using uh, different heights of the plants actually seems like it's thicker than 12 inches the design of the tank is a nature design as you can see there are rocks on the left side and on the right side which is a different height from the middle and then the middle I, I used um, white sand there so to create a very naturalistic um, beach uh, portion in the aquascape again this tank is a high-tech tank meaning uh, there are some elements that make it more complicated than the usual which is a well, on your right, you can see the CO2 tank, which is a 50 pound CO2 tank, industrial grade. This would last me for more than six months. Well, I opted for, I opted in getting that size because I don't like refilling. So, there. It's just kind of big and then I'm using a reactor a CO2 reactor with a bubble counter there it is and then um, I'm using this glass outlet which can throw the water to to the left side of the tank and then I am using three wave makers. So this is the first one, which will pass it on to the next wave maker, the second one. There. Those are the angelfish, male and female. Then passing it on to the third wave maker. So circulation is very important in this high tech tank so that the CO2 and the nutrients will be able to go around uh, all sides of the tank equally. Aside from that, I'm using uh, these RGB lights, total of three panels to be able to cover the, from the left side to the right side then what else uh okay another important thing is controlling the temperature so currently the temperature is at 27.6 okay but what is important there is in achieving that i have to use this um uh four uh six this is a six fan um auxiliary fan which i attach here i just removed it for presentation purposes so it is actually on 24 7 Using this, the temperature can go down to as low as 27 or even lower, which is, I think, the most ideal temperature we can get here in the Philippines. The most notable improvement in the tank is the thickening of the bushes. The, the background plants, the lower bushes, and then the mid mid-range bushes and the higher bushes so they are actually thicker so how was i able to do that um 
I just, every time I trim, I kept on replanting the stems to the substrate again using um, better forceps. So I'll just show you this. So the, these thin forceps really make a big difference in replanting stem plants. No? So as you can see the at the end, um, they are thinner. They are actually sharper. So they could really go deep inside the substrate and then it won't um, it won't pull out your current plants that are still planted so this one this helped a lot in making the bushes thicker aside from that another notable improvement is uh, the lessening of the algae in the leaves so the plants were able to photosynthesize better because of less algae. So how, how was I able to do that? I spot dosed this one, hydrogen peroxide agua oxygenada. This is a 3% um, WV. 10 volumes so this is actually used for external wounds of a person uh, but I just use around 30 ml every other day for this tank which is around 80 gallons so it doesn't harm my fish I just did it this morning and then the fish are still active they are eating properly and it is very effective in treating algae in my plants so just be careful because if you go more than what is prescribed then it may um, kill your fish so there are some links in YouTube on how to use um hydrogen peroxide in in your tank to algae. Uh, i suggest that you just follow the dosage uh, properly and aside from that um i also lessened my micronutrients because i was overdosing micronutrients which contributed to the algae growth the lights, um, I am now currently doing six hours of um, six hours of light. Um, I separated them three hours, three hours, which totals to six. I put, I placed a one hour break in between the three R periods. So there. Uh, the mortality of my fish is very low. Um, they are actively swimming. Um, I think what improved what improved their mortality is the siphoning of the gravel, which I already do every week. And also, uh, I would clean the pipes of my filters and the AAM 600 filter, I would also clean them once a month with, of course, with the tank water and um, to, to preserve the good bacteria in the filters okay so while we're here i would like to show you the inhabitants of the tank so we have two angelfish male and female we have purple daniels we have cardinal tetras and the cleaning crew uh, waiting down there in the sand we have pandagara fish 
We have uh, Siamese algae eaters and some oddballs like uh, some mollies and we even have this uh, male betta fish living harmoniously with the whole community. There are also some assassin snails for to control the um, pond snail population inside and there are also uh, nerite snails for, uh, for algae control. So there, I would like to show to you a uh, feeding video. So first off, we have Vibrabytes by Hikari. There. There you go. So I actually feed three kinds of food. And then the second one is an algae wafer for the bottom feeders. There you go. Alright. And then, uh, lastly, I, I have some micro pellets for the, um, for the cardinal tetras, which everyone actually likes also. The problem is that some of the fish don't know that I'm already feeding because of too much uh coverage from the from the plants but there there they are the the black uh black red eye red eye tetra sorry yeah the red eye tetras so for them to know that it's eating time i'm gonna have to drop on their side so that just to get their attention So, there. See? They're starting to eat already. Okay. After some time, they all found out that the algae wafer's there. So, look at that. The Pandagara fish and the Siamese algae eaters is ravaging the algae wafer. So we have that balloon molly and the angelfish taking small nips on the algae wafer also. That's it. I hope you learned a lot and I hope that you can also pull off a long planted high-tech tank hoping that you got a lot of useful information and just message me for any questions that you have thank you